Beer Tubers, Ryan, back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Joined once again by Daniel, the endosymbiosis, beyond the poor video beer reviews. We've done many collabs before. Today we're going to look at a beer that uh, Daniel just got into his part of the U.S. We're going to look at uh, Rodenbach. This is just the regular classic ale, uh, a.k.a. the red ale, classic ale, just the regular Rodenbach. I've already reviewed the Grand Cru, and uh, we're going to take a look at the regular version. Awesome. Let's do it. All right. Uh, so I'm getting a, a kind of hazy brown red appearance, as you'd expect from a Flanders red slash brown. Uh, I've got a little soap scummy head. I poured really, really gently, but it's, uh, you know, about a half a finger. Yeah, kind of, yeah. kind of yeah. bubbly. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to stick around. Very unimpressive head, but uh, lots of carbonation coming off the sides of the glass. Yeah, these beers are, have that acidic compl- component that just doesn't lead to great head retention. Right. But uh, aroma. Big oh, yeah. tart, really. bright, like almost citrusy bright kind of. Yeah, you know? well, I get like cherry notes. Yeah, yeah, it's cherry, cherry. It's, it's not citrus, but I'm just trying to like, in terms of like just how much it like hits you right in the nose. You know? Yeah, just, it has that zing, that that sour sort of uh, tart zing to it, like a uh, really tart lime would have. Yeah, definitely big cherry notes. Cherry, uh slight that oak comes through there's a little bit of tannic quality but yeah some tan um just uh really nice vinous character that kind of red wine yeah note Burgundy's, on there Burgundy's a beer right here you know yeah so it, um you know malty real malty but that slight tartness in there i do love these style of sours no, I do. These are some of my favorite sours are uh, these Flanders Reds. So uh, I'm ready to dig in. Yeah, you? let's try this. Cheers. Cheers. That's just damn refreshing is what that is. This beer is um, highly drinkable. I think it's both a very approachable sour if you've never had a, a Flanders style beer or any kind of sour ale. I think it's a very approachable but I still think it has some nice complexity to it. Again, with that kind of bright tart cherries, um, big like tart cherry around the back of the tongue. Definitely getting a little bit of oak, a um, little bit of tannic color, but not a lot. What's interesting to me is like, how much breadiness I get in this, how much of that like real, like uh, like almost like a like a wheat bread kind of thing I get um, right right down there at the, um, the yeah. bottom of the like a potato bread kind of thing. Yeah, like yeah. real toasty. Cool. We got this real toastiness to it. Um, but it still kind of follows the nose, still has that that cherry-like acidic note. Definitely. But without having actual cherries in the beer, which is, I think, what's awesome about when these beers are really well done. They have that right. cherry note, but it's not with adding fruit like a creek would be. Right, right. But it's not overly tart. It's actually fairly well balanced, I think, in the end. I think the sweeter back end with that breadiness, some sweeter sort of caramel malts kind of come in and balance things out. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're right. I mean, it's not hugely complex, but uh, it's very drinkable and it's it's good. It's just it's just an enjoyable yeah. drink. I mean, it's, the flavors it's are what you want. You know. Yeah, there's no flavor that's really popping out, and they're not as bold as say like the Grand Cru, but they're very mild oak. Very mild kind of caramel. Just that nice, like, sweeter cherry note and a sour cherry note kind of like, or sweeter fruitiness, I guess you'd say. It's a little more complex than maybe just cherry fruitiness, but. Yeah, maybe a little bit of like a lemon, like a lime. Like, I mean, there is some of that, but it's buried. Okay, so we're back with uh, the regular Rodenbach. Been discussing this beer. I'm going to go A- minus with this beer. Why? Because I think it's an excellent version of a, just a regular... Uh, Flanders style red slash brown ale. I mean, it's highly drinkable. It's got some nice tartness. I think it's at five percent. A really nice session beer. Um, it's really easy to find. I know Daniel just got it, but it's one of the most widely available sours you can find out there. And I think it's great for beginners. I think people in the more advanced sours can also appreciate this beer. I think it's just really well blended and brewed beer. So, what do you think, Daniel? I you pretty much said exactly what i would say um i you know i think this is just one of those um i think flanders reds are like those sours that are really approachable for just about anybody i think they're really easy to recommend for that reason 
And uh, this is definitely one, um, this is one of the better examples I've had. I mean, this may be the single best example of a Flanders red I've had. Um, reading wise, I agree with you exactly. I'm gonna give it an A minus. Um, I was thinking B plus, but then I'm like, it's like, how much do I enjoy drinking this? I mean, this is just so drinkable. It's so like big and fruit notes without being like oppressively fruity, without being like oppressively sweet. Um, but also with no actual fruit in it. So uh, that's really impressive. I'm uh, My hat's off to the brewers at Rodenbach. So A- minus for both of us. Unfortunately, we agree again on a beer. Maybe we'll find someone we can, like one of us gives it an F, the other one A. But oh well. Um, fantastic beer. It's widely available. Pick it up. It's reasonably priced. If you've never had a sour, try the regular Grand, uh, Rodenbach. If you like this one, try the Grand Cru. I like it even more than this one. And they're both about the same price, right around like eight nine dollars for a uh, 750 milliliter. So, uh, thanks to uh, Daniel, go check out his website, easebeyondthepoor.com, and find us both at Beer Geek Nation. And until next time, comment and subscribe, and cheers. Cheers.